The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good day, everybody. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to do a quick sound check. If you can hear me, please type yes in the, uh, in the chat or the questions box. Okay, great. It seems we are ready to go. Welcome to our webinar today. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to be with us. We appreciate your support and interest. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Tian Heidenrich, and I'm an equity director and currency trader on the trading desk at PSG Wealth. Now, today's webinar is titled Beginner's Guide to Technical Analysis. Most people understand the concept of buying low and selling high. Technical analysis is a tool that helps traders determine what direction, trend, or trend the market will continue in the future. Now, where do we start? First, let's pick a share we're comfortable with. I've chosen MTN for today's example. Now, what is the ideal position? Ideally, we want to use technical analysis to help us identify turning points and trends. Unfortunately, there is no single indicator that will do this for us. However, a combination of indicators can greatly help us improve our odds. Now, from the chart, we can see the RSI helped us to identify turning points in the trend, thereby helping us identify tops and bottoms. Now, how do we get there? If you understand the benefits and limitations of technical analysis, it can provide you with a new set of tools or skills that will enable you to become a better trader. In this webinar, we discuss two traditional technical indicators, namely the RSI and Stochastic. Now, let's start with the RSI. Now, what is behind the RSI? The Relative Strength Index, better known as the RSI, is a momentum indicator that compares the magnitude of recent gains and losses over a specific time period to measure speed, change, speed and change of price movement of a security. It is primarily used to identify overbought or oversold levels. So simply put, it will tell us whether the shares outperformed or underperformed against recent share price performance. Here we have a graph of Capitate coupled with RSI. We can see from the chart that the RSI does not predict highs or lows, but rather preempts a change in direction. This means that even though the RSI's trend is changing, the stock might continue in its original direction for a little while longer. This will give us an opportunity to enter the stock at the lows or highs while we get confirmation from the RSI that the trend is changing direction. Now, the RSI has four uses. It creates tops and bottoms, chart formations, failure swings, and it helps us determine support and resistance levels. Let's start with tops and bottoms. The RSI indicator usually tops above 70, as can be seen from the chart above the red line. It bottoms below 30, which is below the blue line where you can see the blue circle. And usually it forms these tops and bottoms before the underlying price chart, so it will give us an indication when the, the trend is starting to turn before the actual share price starts to turn. Next one is chart formations. The RSI indicator 
often forms chart patterns such as head and shoulders or triangles that may or may not be visible on the price chart. By recognizing chart patterns, we can identify direction changes before they occur. One of my favorites, failure swings. How do failure swings, swings work? What happens is, as in the chart, the RSI will move to either the 30 or 70 level, touch and turn. In this case, it bounced slightly, made a quick drop, but not back to the 30 level, and then turned upward once again. When the new uptrend surpasses the previous peak, or the failure point, as can be seen by the horizontal line in the chart, the chart signals a buy confirmation. Now, this is usually where we'll get in for the long side. The same can be said for a chart turning at its top. Support and resistance levels. The RSI indicator shows sometimes more clearly the price levels, the level of support and resistance. We can see this by the blue line at the top or the red line at the bottom. Next, we focus on the stochastic indicator. What is the stochastic indicator? Firstly, let's discuss what it's not. The oscillator does not follow price or volume. What it does is it follows the speed or momentum of the price of the stock. So what this does is it shows you when the price action in the share is starting to look tired. Do be careful though, because it doesn't necessarily mean that the trend will change, but rather that the strength of the buying or selling is slowing. We can see from the chart that above 80 is usually our overbought level and below 20 is our oversold level now. This is usually where it turns. The stochastic measures relationships between the close, high and low. So plotted on a scale of 1 to 100, the value of the stochastic is the position of the closing price in percentage terms relative to the high and low of the trading range. The actual calculation requires for a few user to first select periods, which over the calculation will be measured. So in this chart, we've used the 14 day period, which can be seen at the top left of the stochastic indicator, which is the bottom chart. Now, if the closing price of the day equals the day's high, then the stochastic, in the stochastic indicator will have a value of 100. Similarly, if the closing price of the day equals the day's low, then the stochastic indicator will have a value of zero. The value of the stochastic indicator on any given day is the position of the closing price in percentage terms relative to the high and low of the trading range. After a short rise or fall, prices tend to consolidate. If during this consolidation, prices close away from the extremes, the stochastic indicator will start to move in the opposite direction, indicating an imminent price reversal. So how does this decide, help you decide when to buy or sell? The ideal buying area is between the 10 and 20% range, which you can be seen below the bottom line, as in the case of a blue circle. And you want to buy when the two lines are crossing on the way up. Similarly, ideal selling area is defined as the 80 to 90% range at the top of the chart. And you also want to sell when the two lines cross, trending downwards. Now, just a few buying guidelines. Using basic, basic trend analysis, uh, ensure that the security is in an uptrend when you're buying. Similarly, when you when you're studying uh, that it's in a downtrend, it works better that way. Additional considerations to keep in mind. In a non-trading market, prices are fluctuating in a horizontal trading range, and the market is trading sideways. One can trade the market in the channel with the help of the stochastic indicator. You can also look for divergence between the slope of the price line and the slope of the stochastic. Divergence is normally a warning of an imminent reversal in the price trend. A few selling guidelines. Using basic trend analysis, ensure that the security is in a downtrend. When the two lines have peaked above the 80 level and turned falling downwards, we will sell. It must be remembered that no indicator should be used primarily on its own. You should always couple them with, with one or two that works for you. This chart shows a nice bullish divergence. When the two lines cross around the 20 level and creates an upturn, you can see from the chart that the stock trend then turns and spikes sharply higher. Now, what are the benefits? Technical analysis is useful. 
company trading strategy. It helps you determine trend identification and entry and exit recommendations. The goal in using indicators is to identify trading opportunities. For example, the RSI or stochastic indicator often predicts a price change. In this instance, applying these indicators to a price chart allows traders to identify areas where the trend may change. The market news reflects stock prices. The share price is a reflection of all fundamental news. The crowd market psychology is identified using the patterns. We use it for price forecasting. This helps investors make informed investment decisions. Now, to touch on entry and exit recommendations, the entry and exit strategies is recommended for short and long term trading using technical analysis. A fundamental analysis will help determine the long term entry and exit points. When fundamental news is available in the market, the share price will be changed. Some traders use a combination of trend indicators, patterns, volume, and moving averages to determine entry and exit points. Now, things to keep in mind. What about other technical indicators? Yes, due to time constraints today, we decided not to discuss the MACD indicator. There are hundreds of technical indicators, and it can be quite daunting. But what I suggest is to start with the basic, basics. Test it out, see what works for you. All traders have different personalities and different temperaments, which is why certain indicators will work for some traders and not for others. Add and remove indicators on a regular basis until you find a few that works in conjunction with your trading strategy. Now, a few suggestions for you to start with. Start with moving averages, the MACD, trend lines. We can use trend lines to draw channels, um, support and resistance levels, and it will greatly help us just have a, a good view of the market um, over a longer period. Now, in conclusion, establish whether the market is trending bullish or bearish, or is it moving sideways, so in a channel like, um, like we discussed earlier. Remember the goal in using technical indicators is to identify trading opportunities in order to make money. Trading strategies, on the other hand, frequently employ indicators as an objective manner to determine entry, exit, or trade management rules. A strategy is a definitive set of rules that specifies the exact conditions under which trades will be established, managed, and closed. Strategies typically include the detailed use of indicators, or frequently multiple indicators, to establish instances where trading activity will occur. And what are your next action steps? We would like you to register for an equity account with PSG. If you already have one, great. Uh, we can always open a single stock or CFD one for you as well. Please provide us with feedback on the webinar today. We'd obviously like to know your inputs and um, if there's anything else you'd like us to touch on in the future. Now, that's all from me, Tian Hederich. Feel free to take down my email and um, send me your, your questions or queries directly. And we can chat and draw a few graphs and uh, see where we can, can get some support and resistance levels. We hope today's webinar will provide you with a valuable starting point in technical analysis. Thank you.